The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. My name is Mark Bulger. I am the Director of Sales for Final Expense here at Pinnacle Financial. And today's webinar presentation is going to be on Americo and their final expense. So let's just get started here. Uh, just a little bit about Pinnacle. Um, you know, we are located out uh, right outside of Philadelphia, up in Warminster, Pennsylvania. And these are all of the products that we do here. We do fixed index and immediate annuities, universal life, index universal life, single premium life, simplified issue, uh, whole life participating available, uh, final expense life, term life, long-term care, and Medicare. And just a little bit about our website. This is like pretty much the central hub to everything. Uh, so we you know, definitely recommend that you get to our website. Uh, if you're not familiar with it already, uh, you can um, uh, get online at www.pffinsurance.com. And just a little bit about our website. I mean, we have all the quoting engines for you know annuities, long-term care, uh, term, G GULs, Medicare, final expense. Um, you know, all all sorts of um, all the different forms that you need from the, the various carriers. Uh, obviously, our website is available 24/7, which makes it nice and easy. Um, and also, you know, we'll, we also have uh, some discounted CEs and ENO that you can get off of our website, uh, as well as any of the uh, current uh, annuity and life and long-term care news. So just a little bit about our website. Um, and one of the big things that we do here is paperless contracting. Um, you know, once you get set up initially with Pinnacle, uh, with your initial contract, um, you know, if, let's say if you want to add some carriers, you know, a couple months in, you know, all you have to do is just give us a call or shoot us an email and we can get you um, contracted um, just in, you know, within a couple minutes. So uh, we do this paperless contracting. This way you're not going to have to fill out any more paperwork. Uh, it saves time. It's more efficient. Uh, like I stated, you can uh, apply for multiple carriers at once. And what's good is you can save your information, go back in the future, and add additional carriers in just minutes. So um, on to the final expense quoting engine, one of our uh, big features on our website. Um, right on the, uh, on the front page, if you go to quotes and select final expense quotes, um, you'll get a screen that looks similar to this. And all you have to do is just in, um, enter in your client's basic information, like their state, date of birth, uh, their gender, uh, whether or not they're a tobacco user, and the amount of insurance that they're looking for, and the the, uh, the benefit type. Uh, so here it, it defaults to level, which is going to be your first day coverage, immediate death benefit. Uh, but if you if you um, select on this drop down, you can choose graded or modified, as well as guaranteed issue. Uh, of course, if you have ever have any questions, you know you can certainly give us a call. Uh, this is what the results are going to look like after you uh, type in that information. You'll see uh, a price list uh, from all the you know the available carriers um, from the least expensive to the most expensive so just a little bit about that so on to our main topic here Americo and their final expense uh, we're very excited to have this um, you know uh, both these final expense products they're very popular and very um, you know just excellent products all around so uh, Americo actually has two final expense products and the first is going to be this ultra protector series so this is their standard paper application um, and this is available for ages 50 to 85 face amounts range from 2,000 up to 30,000 and the ultra protector has three rate classes so you'll get the preferred um, this is going to be uh, if the client can answer all of the health questions as a no, they will be, um, they certainly can qualify for the preferred. Uh, if they answer one health question uh, as a yes, then they can potentially get the standard uh, rating, which is still first day coverage, which is nice. Uh, it's just a little bit more expensive than the preferred, obviously. And if they answer more than one uh, health question as a yes, then they have the option to get the guaranteed issue. Um, so, as you can see, you know, uh, nobody 
gets turned down with Americo. Um, so they always always have an option for everyone. Um, another nice feature is there's no required point of sale interview. So you're not, not going to have to tell your clients to uh, wait for a phone call from the company to you know go over everything that they just listed on the app. Um, you know they, they 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 don't have any requirements like that. So that's nice. Um, and the ultra protector we have um, uh, street level. We can get you up to 115% commissions, and they do have advancing available. Um, and then now, now moving over to the Eagle Premier Series up here, uh, you'll see that this is the e-app um, or the telephone app. Um, you know, they encourage um, you know many agents to either use you know do do the sale over the phone or via their e-app. It's a very easy system on their website. Um, we'll, you know, we'll talk about that in a little bit. But um, just some uh, basic info about the product. Uh, it, similar to the Ultra Protector Series, it's uh, available for ages 50 to 85. Uh, with face amounts ranging from as little as $2,000 up to $30,000. And with the Eagle Premier Series, you have two rate classes. You have the level and then the guaranteed issue. So level is going to be, you want to have um, all the health qu questions answered as a no um, in order to qualify for the level, which is the, the first day coverage, immediate death benefit. And if you answer any uh, one or more questions as a yes on the, on the app, uh, you know they can they can offer you the guaranteed issue. Uh, again, no required point of sale interview. Um, and with this e-app, you can get up to 125% commissions uh, with advancing available. So we'll go into uh, some details about both products now. Just you know, just wanted to give you a quick little overview of that. Uh, first, here we'll go into the Ultra Protector series. So. As you'll see here, we have the Ultra Protector 1, Ultra Protector 2, and the Ultra Protector 3. Now, those are um, actually the Ultra Protector 1 is going to be what's the preferred, which what we just talked about. Uh, the Ultra Protector 2 is going to be the standard, and then the Ultra Protector 3 is their guaranteed issue. So, as you can see, um, Ultra Protector 1 and 2, um, or I, I should say, Ultra Protector 1 goes from uh, 50 to 85. Uh, Ultra Protector 2 is only going to be from ages 50 to 80, and Ultra Protector 3, the guaranteed issue, is only going to be uh, for ages 50 to 75. So just a little bit about the um, the preferred and the standard, which is the uh, the 1 and 2. Uh, simplified issue, uh, they either accept you or reject you. Uh, guaranteed level premiums for the life of the policy. That means that the uh, the premiums are never going to go up or down. Um, as long as they're paid, you know, each month or, uh, you know, each quarter or however you have the, uh, the billing set up for. Uh, Non-smoker rating is based on cigarettes only. This is very important because uh, this is one of the only carriers that does this. Uh, smokeless tobacco, cigar, and pipe smoking may qualify as a non-smoker. So if you do have some clients that are, you know, they, they, they uh, do some chewing tobacco or smoke a, a few cigars or pipes every now and then, they can certainly qualify for a uh, for a non-smoker rating, which is very very cool. Um, these both come with the uh, accelerated be uh, accelerated benefit payment rider. It's included at no extra cost, uh, so they can um, access a portion of the funds, um, you know, if they are. Uh, 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 designated with a with a terminal illness, diagnosed with a terminal illness, I should say. Um, there is an optional accidental death benefit rider. Um, so if you want the rates, I can certainly send them to, to all of you um, after this. It's actually, I believe it's in the agent guide is where you can get the rates for these uh, the accidental death benefit rider. Uh, and they also have a an optional children's term rider. Uh, as you can see, it's available for $11 per uh, $1,000 annually. Um, and again, it's a very simple application process. Uh, so we'll go into that in a little bit here too. Uh, as I mentioned, the face amounts range from 2,000 to 30,000, and both the Ultra Protector One and Two, preferred and standard, are both full death benefit from day one. Um, and just to go on a little bit about the uh, guaranteed issue here. Um, again, it's a simple application process. Um, if they answer a, a couple of the questions as yes, then they will automatically be uh, be offered this guaranteed issue. Um, it is going to be, let's see, a four-year wait before you get that full face amount with their guaranteed issue. Um, so as you can see here, it says uh, if death occurs in the first year, it's a return of premium plus 5%. Uh, if death occurs in the second year, it's a return of premium plus 10%. 
Uh, death occurs in the third year. It's 75 percent of the face amount. Um, it's 100 percent in the these specific states here, Illinois, New Hampshire, New Jersey, and West Virginia. Uh, but for all other states, year four going forward is 100 percent of the face amount. Um, and one more thing I forgot to mention, too, there is an accidental death benefit provision. Uh, the full death benefit uh, is payable for accidental death during that graded uh, death benefit period. So if your client um, uh, does pass away due to accidental death in those first three or four years, they can uh, be eligible for that full face amount. So, and we'll go on here. This, these are the health questions. I'm, I wish I could have uh, enlarged them a little bit more for you, but um. Uh, everybody that's on this webinar, I'll, I will be sending you the uh, the application with the health questions for both of these, just to just to keep in mind. Um, but yeah, so as you can see here, there are uh, just a couple of health questions. As long as your clients can get through these um, and answer no to these, then um, you know that they they can be uh, they can be uh, approved for immediate uh, death benefit. Um, like I said, if they do answer one one health question as a yes. And that's going to be particularly particularly for part two here. Uh, if any of these questions are answered yes, then they can be um, potentially be offered the standard rating, or it would go to the guaranteed issue. So, um, and the submission here is uh, obviously the applications can be faxed. Uh, company uh, can draft the first premium. Um, I do know that that um, Americo does uh, issue commissions. Um, you know, upon issue, as opposed to um, when when the first payment comes. So that is good to know as well. Um, moving on here to the Eagle Premier Series. This is the e-app um, or the telephone app. Um, uh, kind of like like I stated before, it's two products designed for final expense. You have the Eagle Premier Level, which is the first day coverage level death benefit, and the Eagle Premier Guaranteed Issue, which is the graded death benefit. Um, Again, you know, it has the unique smoker classification. So a uh, person who has smoked cigarettes in, in 12 months prior to the application uh, completion date will be um, uh, technically uh, a smoker. Uh, but if they are a pipe or cigar or smokeless tobacco user, they can qualify for non-smoker rates. Um, another good thing about both of these products is there is, um, or I should say just about the Eagle series, because at the end of the e-app, or the telephone call, they will give you a uh, point of sale decision. So you will know by the end of that um, that application or the telephone call if your client uh, is approved or not. So you don't have to wait a few days for them to go through everything and and keep checking the website or anything like that. They uh, they tell you right away. So definitely nice to know. Um, these are some more things uh, included at no additional cost. To go, like, like I said earlier, the uh, accidental death benefit rider, uh, it doubles the death benefit for accidental death, and it actually triples the death benefit for accidental death on a common carrier. A uh, common carrier includes uh, planes, trains, um, buses, you know, any form of like uh, public pr transportation. Um, so that's good to know. Good, good to keep that in mind. Um, the Eagle Premier guaranteed guaranteed issue uh, also has the accidental death provision, like I was just talking about. Um, if a client dies by accident during the graded death benefit, or yeah, during the graded death benefit period, the full death benefit will be available for them. And just a little chart here um, talking about the level benefit with Eagle Premier and the guaranteed uh, level benefit. Non-smokers can go 50 to 85. If they're a smoker, it goes from 50 to 80. Uh, the companion sale here is, let's say, if a uh, husband or wife, uh, one, one, one of the spouses is in their 40s, but the other one is, you know, well, well within the uh, the age range, then they will um, allow that for anyone who's between the ages of 40 and 49, uh, and they do go by your uh, age of last birthday as well. And like we said before, we know the face amounts 2,000 up to 30,000. Uh, the level is going to pay the full death benefit on day one. And they have the accidental death benefit rider, as we said, at no additional cost. Now, for the guaranteed issue, this is only available for ages 50 to 80, and they go by age last birthday. And their face amounts are going to go from 2,000 up to 10,000. And like I was saying before, we have that um, that three-year graded death benefit. Um, whereas the first, if they death occurs in the first year, um, they get return of premium plus five percent. Second year, it's return of premium plus 10%. Uh, year three, it's um, 
75% of the face amount, and then year four, it's 100% uh, of the face amount. And again, the uh, additional benefits for the guaranteed issues, they have the accidental death benefit provision, um, which is included during the graded period at, at no additional cost. So, um, going on to the, some of the underwriting here for the Eagle Premier level. Um, this will be issued if all health questions are answered no, like I had said before. Um, height and weight are within the guidelines. Uh, there's no adverse MIB hits, and there's no prescription history concerns. So uh, when you are doing the, the Eagle Premier uh, eApp or the telephone uh, sales, they will run an MIB check. Um, now, I know um, during the eApp, you know, that you, you sit there and it, it might calculate for like five, five to ten minutes, um, and that's because it's checking the MIB uh, history and just seeing if there's anything uh, that causes concern in there. Now, when you're on the telephone app, they're going to, um, they, they still run that MIB, so they, they, they probably just put you on hold for a couple minutes while they do that. Um, and then here's the underwriting build chart, um, you know, the height and weight. Um, again, this is going to be available in the agent guide, um, which is what I'll be sending to everybody who's on the webinar today. So you will get a copy of that. And and these are just some of the yeah some of the materials that come along with the um, uh, with the Eagle Premier series. We have the agent guide, a reference sheet, a prescription drug guide, and there's a two-sided worksheet with the health questions. So um, this allows you to meet with your client beforehand and then make the either make the uh, the phone call for the for the phone sales or do the e app uh, at a later time. So you don't have to be right there with the client necessarily. Um, just a little bit about the telephone application. Here we go. Um, this is going to be included in the um, in the sales kit for uh, for the Eagle series, but it's it's basically like a a one pager with with just giving you instructions on um, you know who to call over at America, what to have prepared, um, you know before you before you start the telephone application process. Um, underwriting decision. It's given in a matter of minutes. Like I said, um, you drive the call. So you can call at uh, any time that's, uh, that they're open. Um, I believe that they are open, um, you know, till like eight o'clock uh, Central Standard Time, Monday through uh, Friday. And this is just an example of the client worksheet. Um, this is what you can, this is what you'll uh, have to record all of your client's information uh, before making the telephone call. So um, once you're on the phone, they will they'll just, they'll just go down, um, you know, one by one each item. And, uh, you know, it should normally take about 10 to 15 minutes to get through the whole thing. But, uh, you know, certainly, certainly make it, um, you know, nice and easy for everybody. And then, um, so there's the client worksheet and then there's the underwriting questions. So these are what you'll go over with your client, make sure that they can answer all of these as no. And like I said, you just go in and, and you make the, uh, make the phone call and just, just read off each one and they'll give you a, a decision by the end. And it's pretty much as simple as that. Uh, now moving on to the eApp, um, you know, kind of, um, you know, very similar to any other eApp that you guys have, must have done uh, some other carriers. Um, this is actually just talking about the sales connection requirements. We don't need that really. Um, okay, let's go on here. We're going to go over to the sales connection, which is this is um, uh, off of Americo's website. Their website is americo.com. And again, uh, all these instructions on, on how to get set up with them, uh, I'll be sending to everybody at the end of this webinar. So um, if you are already set up with Americo, then you have uh, you may have seen something similar to this screen here. Uh, but this is just how uh, some instructions on how to start the eApp. Uh, basically, you go log on to Americo's website, you start the sales connection, um, and you go and you create a new eApp. Uh, you can do a new illustration as well. Uh, if you want to send an illustration with the cash values to your client beforehand, you can certainly do that. Um, and again, if you're ever having any difficulty with this, you can certainly give us a call here at Pinnacle and we can uh, you know, walk you through this or kind of uh, you know, help you out and make sure that you get everything that you need. Um, also on America's website here, uh, once you open a case, um, you can go back and you can, um, you can edit it. Like if, if, if you only have some or you know, part of the client's information, uh, but you just wanted to make sure that you can get it in there, but you still have to go meet with them to get the rest of it, you can certainly come back to it. And, uh, everything will be saved right there on the portal. So, 
Okay, and in starting the new eApp, we'll just do kind of like a, a test run here. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to do create a new case, and it's going to ask you for a couple of things. You want to enter the, uh, the state that it's being issued in, the gender of your client, and their date of birth. And you'll click on the product to highlight. So what it'll do is um, it'll show you all the products that are available for your client based on their uh, on the state that they're in, their gender, and their date of birth. So you might see some of uh, America's other products that populate there. You want to be sure to select the Eagle Premier Series, and it says final expense, and you know gives you all the info about that. Um, and then once you click that and highlight the product, you hit click Create. And that is going to take you to the first page of their eApp. And you just kind of very self-explanatory. Just go through and enter your client's information. Uh, everything that is highlighted in yellow is going to be required. So if you leave any of these blank and you go to uh, click continue, uh, it's not going to let you you know, move on, which is kind of nice because it's like a uh, um, it, it kind of double checks your work. Um, but just, yes, be, be aware of that. Um, you know, if you're seeing any errors, you know, just make sure that all of these fields are filled in uh, or populated with some, some sort of characters. So um, we'll go on. Uh, the, so the first, the first couple of pages are going to be uh, like this, where you're just going to enter on, in all your client's information. Uh, by the time you get down to this initiate underwriting, uh, you're going to see here it says your client will need to sign the medical authorization before an MIB and prescription drug check can be run. Uh, so if your client is there with you, uh, you can click Sign Authorization, and this will begin that um, uh, it will begin the uh, medical or the MIB uh, prescription check. And coming to the e-signature here um, for your client, if they are there with you, they must sign the screen just like they they are signing a piece of paper. You can hand over the laptop, tablet, or um, you know whatever device you're using, and your client can just you know uh, use their finger and they can um, uh, they can sign sign their name. They can use the mouse and sign their name. Um, now, if your client is not present with you, it does give you the option to uh, send your client an email for them to open up, and they'll just follow the directions on how to um, you know how to sign for the application. So. We'll see that there, and and once the system has updated, you will see an initiate underwriting button. Um, so you'll click this to begin the MIB and prescription drug uh, check. So this is when you after you click this, it might take uh, like I said a couple of minutes for that to run through. You might get the um, uh, you know like the hourglass um, icon on your mouse, um, and it'll kind of you'll have this the spinning wheel going for for a few minutes there, uh, and that's just because they're checking the database. So um, like it says here, um, you know, once you click that, yeah, it'll give you the decision. So, and on this one here, let's see. Um, so we initiated the underwriting, and now it's going to come through. A policy number will be assigned right to the case. Uh, like I said, the MIB prescription drug tech, uh, check may take a couple minutes to return, uh, but this is the screen where it will show you that. Um, uh, you know, if, if they found anything that's uh, of concern uh, in that MIB and prescription check. Um, and let's see here. Um, and w w once you get this decision back, um, you can hit continue, or it will tell you, like, you know, um, you know, we found some errors in here. You know, please, uh, you know, please, please check. We cannot um, offer any coverage at this time. You might get something like that, but um, it will give you some kind of answer right away. Um, and then here we go. If there are no MIB or prescription database concerns, you will receive a message indicating the underwriting check is complete. Um, so there you go. That'll let you know what the status is. Um, and then if there was an issue with the MIB, you'll see this message. Okay, so it'll say, unfortunately, based on our inability to fully develop MIB information, we are unable, unable to offer the simplified issue level death benefit product. So. Um, now it does give you an option. It says, um, you know, we, that they will offer that guaranteed issue product. So it's not like your client is completely denied. Um, you know, they will have the option to accept that guaranteed issue uh, if, if if they so choose to. Um, and then going through here, yep, just a uh, instant decision. And let's see here. Um, 
Okay, so after after they go through that MIB and prescription drug check, uh, as long as all is good, uh, you're going to go through and answer the health questions. Um, so see everything's here. Uh, there's going to be a drop down where it's, you can select yes or no, and hopefully uh, your client can get through with all no answers on that. And once you complete all of the required payment information fields, you will get to uh, this page here where it'll show. Um, you know all the all the uh, the banking information that you can put in. Um, Americo does only accept um, uh, EFT uh, drafts from their accounts um, for payments. You can only do uh, from checking or savings accounts. Uh, they don't have any option for credit cards or uh, social security debit cards at this time, unfortunately. Uh, but we will keep you updated if if anything like that does come out. Um, and let's see, once you put in all the banking information and once the routing number is verified, uh, the name of the bank will appear um, and you'll just click through and click continue and complete all the required agent information pages. Uh, it is going to ask for like your agent number um, and I don't believe it asks for Pinnacle's uh, agent number, but if it does, you can certainly give us a call and we can get you that. Um, but yep, as long as you get through everything here, uh, once the application has been completed, the proposed insured must sign the application. Uh, you'll click on the insured button and that will allow them to go ahead and sign. Once the client signs, then it's the agent's turn. Click on the agent button. And this is where the, the, the agent can uh, use their mouse or um, use their finger if they're on an iPad or um, you know, uh, I device like that. Uh, they can sign right there and then click submit. And oh, let me just step back real quick. So after you submit, that's where it's going to say um, uh, if if they have been approved or not. So uh, you'll have a policy number and everything. Um, and what's good about this too is it's it, it's it issues very quickly, but it also pays very quickly too. Um, America is usually pays within 24 hours after um, you know submitting an, an e app or a telephone app. Now, if you're doing the Ultra Protector series, which is the standard paper app, it's going to take a few more days, um, obviously because you know you're going to have to either fax or email us in the application. We send it over to America. Um, you know, typically is going to take like up to uh, 72 hours for those to be uh, um, uh, underwriting decisions to be um, issued for those. So just as a, a word of word of caution there, um, and just just a little bit um, about what we were talking about um, with the Eagle series from Americo. Again, no paperwork, no medical exams. Every client can qualify for coverage, whether it's that first day coverage, immediate death benefit, or if it's the guaranteed issue. Um, you know, nobody is is going to be declined. Um, there is that unique smoker. Uh, definition, which we talked about. Um, if your client uh, is a smokeless tobacco pipe or cigar user, they can qualify for a, a non-smoker rate. Um, again, this is an instant underwriting decision process uh, with the with the uh, Eagle series, and with both the Eagle series and the Ultra Protector, is daily commissions. Uh, commissions are paid out daily, and they're paid upon issue. So. To get started, uh, for those of you who are not set up with Americo, uh, certainly give us a call. Uh, this is my direct extension. My number is 1-800-772-6881. My direct extension is 7705. So what we'll do is we'll get you contracted and we'll get you starting to, starting to sell. Uh, if you are already set up with Americo, excellent. You're good to go. Um, I'll just, uh, like I said, I'll be uh, sending everybody uh, some sales kits for uh, both these products at the end of this webinar. So uh, you are you are good to go if you are already set up with Americo. You can write these today if you'd like. <laughs> so um, any questions, certainly please feel free to give me a call. Again, my number here is 800 772-6881, direct extension 7705, and my email address is M as in Mark, B as in Boy, O-L-G-E-R at pfsinsurance.com, 
And again, my name is Mark Bolger. I'm the Director of Sales uh, for Final Expense here at Pinnacle. And I certainly thank every, each and every one of you for taking the time out of your busy day to join us today. Um, I will be sending a copy of the webinar as well as sales kits for AmeriCo's products. So thank you again, everybody. And again, if you have any questions, certainly give us a call. Thanks so much. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.